Hi everybody, uh, so uh, my name is Mutwana. If you face time here, Mutwana Wabantu, subscribe to the pro uh, program. And uh, if you're coming back, welcome back. And this question was sent by a student from uh, uh, Southern uh, uh, Mississippi, a student from Southern Mississippi and another sister from Alabama. They always send a question, another sister from South Africa. And the same similar question comes from a student from Zimbabwe. So now let's get started. So this is here, uh, let me get started straight away to the question. So let's say uh, you buy computer means I buy computer direct from the manufacturer means where the manufacturer the computer. But you agree to repay in the eco. I'm gonna highlight this. I agree to repay, but I know in the eco is told me. Maybe I'm gonna be paying thousand, 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 oh, hundred, hundred, hundred. But right now we don't know. We're gonna see how that eco payment that we agree or I agree to repay. Okay, so this one here is very, very important. This sentence, let me highlight. Whenever they say, okay, let me use this color, maybe this gonna help. Whenever they mention eco payment, eco deposit, or eco withdrawal, either you withdraw or you deposit, keep your mind the phone number we're gonna use is gonna be either future value formula or present value formula. Whenever they mention, not all the time, but for the most case, because maybe is a trick. Like if I see this, I do like this. Whenever they say eco payments or eco withdrawing. Something you do in regular basic equally, like you say, you agree to repay eco installment for how long? For 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 three years, for seven years, for three years. Oh, so this can be present or future value formula. But this could be future present value formula. You know why we use present? Because you have money, you have money with you, and then you want to go and pay for it to the post at the end of each month. Now, how did I say starting one month from now? The interest rate is this. Oh, so we have interest rate. Okay. And how to compound it? Monthly. But I will know anything. Compound it monthly. How many months in one year? They are 12 months in one year. So now we can get started. So I know, of course, I'm going to use what present value formula. So then I'm going to say, uh, and I'm going to say, excuse me, and I'm going to say, so I'm going to say present value equal. You write your x, but x represent means how this x represent that the regular payment month, and then for future value form, we go say, excuse me, present value my policy also means present value PV present value equal to x, and this is one minus one minus one plus i negative n, and then you put bracket over your interest rate so this is a formula for present value okay formula for present value because you know it's present so now we're going to do we want to get this because this x represent the amount the equal payments that's what x represent for okay so let me make that subjects so to make that subject is easy because i'm going to multiply pv times i because i can say this so one pv times i is going to be pvi so pvi is going to be i over, or we can say PVI, it's simple, excuse me. PVI equal to, equal to X, which is that, and then multiply by 1 minus 1 plus I minus N times X. So we want to get X. So you have to make X the subjects. This is 1 here. Number 1, so on. So we want to make what? X the subjects that we're looking for. So I'm going to have to divide by, by, this throughout, divided by this throughout, means on the right and left. Divided here, more divided by a 1, 1, minus here, by 1 plus i, minus n, throughout. In this side, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'll say 1 minus, 1 minus, you see? So let me write my 1 clear because it's too far. So 1 minus, 1 minus. And they say uh, one minus a problem right here, one minus one plus i negative n. So what happened? Uh, we want to get x, so this and this cancel. So then we know how we can get x of x. So x equal to, finally, we can see now we go, we want to get x, so say x equal to p times vi. Okay? pv, present value, what is present value? 7, 3. 7, 3, 3. 3, 0, 
terms our interest rate. what is the interest rate 10.7 percent 10 0.7 percent but remember one thing whenever there's an interest rate you must divide it how it was compounded how this stuff was compounded man it's kind of sluggish a little bit my apology okay so now we're going to say then uh we're going to multiply we're going to multiply uh what our i what is the interest rate interest rate equal to uh 10.7 10 seven percent but remember whenever there's interest rate, you must divide it how it was compounded how it was compounded it was compounded monthly monthly means you divide by 12 because compounded monthly means there are 12 months in one year okay and then what we're going to do means this is this and then we have to divide by that okay divide by that so then since the space is not enough here so i can say divide here as a normal because look if i say a divided by b same as say a divided by b the same thing if i say k k over t is the same as say k divided by t is the same thing just a different ways of writing so now for that case i'm gonna say uh oh uh because since i know what is happening i can just raise here the middle one and i can just Finish up so I can just erase this because you know we're looking just for x means I don't need this anymore because we cancel cancel. So I can say, uh, so we can have a space because I just finished up, okay? So I don't need this. Uh, let's just finish. Oh, the space is not enough, okay? So what I'm gonna do, uh, let me just erase here. Yes, like that. Because that's what we want. That's the only formula we want in this formula here. So I can simply say, uh, so let me rewrite again. So we can have like enough space. So I'm going to say my x, x, which is this, equal to PVI. What is present value? Present value equal to 7, 3, 3, 2, 0, just 2. Because that's a double zero, so like nothing. Okay, so we multiply my present value time by the interest rate. Interest rate equal to 10.7 percent. But we must divide it how it was compounded, which is compounded monthly, monthly. So you take your interest rate always divided by how it was compounded. So how it was compounded monthly 12. Whenever there's an interest rate, and then we over this by one, just one. Minus minus one plus interest rate. So the interest rate ten point seven. But we must divide by how to compound. Just compound amount. It means you have to divide by twelve. And then power negative n. It's like this. Look. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, power negative n. So power negative n. How many years? Uh, three years. Three. But just like I say. You see here an interest rate, right? Whenever there's interest rate, you must divide by how it was compounded. You must divide it like here, you see, whenever there's interest rate, divided by how it was compounded even here. There's interest rate. And then another thing, where there's a time, you must multiply. You see here the time, time is n. You must multiply by how it was compounded, which is how it was compounded monthly. That's all we need. And you can plug in the calculator and get the value. See what I'm saying? Let me say it again quick, quick. So now this, you're going to say x equal, take your calculator, plug it very slow. If you plug it, you're going to get the final answer. It's going to be this. Okay, so plug in the calculator slowly. You know, final answer is going to be equal to, oh, I can plug with you. So the final answer is going to be this, the face. So. See? So just something to remember, right? So let me just do this. Okay, PVI on top. Let me write clean here because it's just kind of dead. So we had an X here. I'm going to write X equal to present value times I. But whenever there's an I, you must divide it how it was compounded. But for this case, it was compounded. That's why I divided by 12 here. Same here. Whenever there's an interest, you must divide how it was compounded. For this case, it was compounded monthly. That's all. But here there's a negative n for formula of the present value. But you must, where there's a term, you must multiply by how it was compounded, 
which is 12 for this case because it's monthly. It's minus there because of the present value formula. See what I'm saying? Do not forget that. So now we can plug this in the calculator. This answer is going to get back. Like I said, let me show you how you can get it. The calculator. So I'm going to come here. Okay, my fraction. I got fraction here. Come and plug in a fraction. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so let's plug in the calculator here, excuse me. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, let's pull this on here to the top so we can see it. Okay. So now let's take your calculator and plug all these values. See, uh, okay, so we go um, the top one. Okay, so we go fraction, fraction. So the top one, we can simply say seven, double three, two, three, three, two. Uh, I think I was wrong. Let me, let me explain to you why you have to plug in the calculator. So we said 32 and then multiply, multiply. multiply multiply and then you come here and there's a fraction fraction okay so say 10.7 10.7 shift calculator shifting percent come in and close and then you divide by 12 because it's compounded monthly come here and they close this now let's go to the denominator so denominator is easy because I'm gonna put my face bracket let me sorry this bracket okay face bracket and they say one minus one minus put bracket here put bracket they say one plus one plus and then come here fraction fraction 10.7 10.7 shift shift okay you come here divided by 12 and they come here okay you close your bracket and don't forget to put your power here right so what's your power your power equal to and what is our n our n equal to three three times how it just come up there's a negative here negative three because it come uh present value formula there's a negative in the present value formula okay we multiply how it just compounded which is 12 and they come in your close Close and they just come and give it us. So we get 239, 238 in approximation 239. But remember, this is going to be the value of x for one month. But what happened? They say here this guy is going to do for 36 months. So this value here is for only one month. So you must take that value multiplied by three years. But I don't take it three because since this is a monthly payment, every month you must deposit that amount every month so for three years means you must take that amount multiply by 36 because 36 means three years so multiply by 36 because that was for one month so multiply by 36 or multiply by 36 sorry come on, come on, do it. and that's going to give us that answer which i mentioned 3604 is 36 oh my god i got it wrong okay divided by 36 again hold on divided by 36 that's all the amount so we multiply like I say we multiply by um, three years three years means uh, 36 why give us this oh 8604 8604 uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on okay. So you tell me the answer is the same one. No, the answer must be the face one. Oh, okay, I see. So now we're not done yet. Excuse my apology. I made a mistake. So that's okay. So this amount that you're going to accumulate, but I did not ask for amount of three years. They asked for interest. You know what interest meaning? Oh, no. Sorry about that. 
interest meaning look if you start business let's say start business with uh, let's say 10 rand or 10 dollar whichever man and then after one year you get 20 total so what is the interest interest is like that extra amount you have make or profit so we're going to take 20 minus 10 our interest rate is going to be equal to 10 so same here if we make this amount here which is uh at a six zero four at a six zero four six zero four so now to get the interest meaning so i can just erase everything right? so at a six or zero four in approximation so we want to get interest what i mean you must minus because the question was not fine uh, how much after three years to get the interest meaning now we must minus by the amount we started with so what amount we we we, we bought is this one so we're going to say uh at a six zero four minus uh minus one seven three three two and then we subtract this gonna be two ten minus six is gonna be equal to seven and then this gonna be five five minus three equal to two and this is gonna be simply one see so which is the first one because this is just zero zero so our options gonna be the first one okay that's our answer so that's how you get it and thanks a lot for your time but i'm gonna redo this video very slowly for just for the other people so they can learn like that slow in a slow pace thanks a lot for your time and we can start here peace in a month